Is this live? Hold on, I just want to make sure I get this right. Then we're live, okay. Um, hi everyone, welcome to Bujis Network. Welcome to the day to, to, to <laughs> welcome to today's live. And we're talking about man versus what Think Tank Thursday, everyone. Think Tank Thursday, give it up, give it up. And today we're gonna look at growth, game face on, getting down and dirty. Grooming your content it happens every Thursday, 6 p.m. MST. But before we get started, disclaimer here. These are just my findings, my own thought process, my own brainstorming session. It's not um, set in stone. It might work for you. It might not work for you. Just to put it out there, just try, get as much as you can, and let's roll with it. Okay, let's get started. So, like today, to kick off this wonderful day, first LS on Think Tank. I would like to talk about grooming your content. Yes, grooming your content. And if you've seen the ad leading up to this LS, you must have noticed that grooming your content covers areas around analytics, keeping your you know, eyes on your analytics, trying to use your analytics or trying to use analytics on your YouTube platform to try and drive your content, the process behind your content and that kind of stuff, right? And to deal with that, to we'll talk about analytics first, pick up some kind of case study and try and see how we can use the analytics to kind of build, you know, or groom our content, you know, shape it and form it in a way that analytics help. Um, analytics helps to, to drive all that, so yeah. Okay, so let's get started. Let's start with um, geography, analytics geography. So, like this is all hands-on. I'm going to use my own YouTube channel. Forgive the numbers, I'm still a small YouTuber, so I'm trying to work things out, but hey, it's a good pointer. So for my own channel, Blue Jeans Network channel, um, you can see simple analytics, really. I'm sure everybody has looked at this before, but let's keep going. So you can see from my own little YouTube channel, I have more viewers based off, you know, in the US, the Philippines, Jamaica, Canada, and Germany. And we all know where the big money or the big box is, right? The big box you know, in the US, Canada, you know, UK. So, so far, you know, Philippines, you know, so far I've ticked a couple of boxes. I have United States, I have Canada, probably need to work on that nothing from the <laughs> from uk which is funny so that is one indicator as to where i need to start focusing on where i need to start working on what kind of content what kind of connections i need you know to have a footprint in the uk and stuff like that so yes these are my numbers so right now i'm thinking about you know uh, this creative process and i'm now thinking hmm the US, what do these viewers want? What, what attracted them to my channel in the first place? What can I work on? And stuff like that. So I'm already thinking about that. And I'm moving on to the next one. Grooming your content, but hey, gender. Hey, is it, is it, is it, is it a female, is it a male? You know, what kind of attracted them in the first place? You know, what is it to, to look out for? And again, based off my Blue Jeans Network channel, you can see I have more females, you know, viewing my videos and stuff like that. I can start thinking, uh, do I start, you know, looking around, looking at, you know, stuff around family? You know, I'm not trying to put women in the box, or do I start looking at, you know, stuff about empowering women, talk about, you know, issues around women and stuff like that, you know. Again, based off analytics and what I have, my content, I'm thinking about this stuff. I have more female viewers, I have people, more viewers from the US, I have viewers from the Philippines, I have viewers from, from Canada, you know, from Jamaica. I'm thinking about what kind of content, what drives, what should drive my content creation process, right? So let's keep moving on. I'm getting a flow or a feel of where I'm headed to, right? Keep going. Next one, age. Hmm, interesting. As you can see here, this is a strong indicator of, you know, what kind of demographic I'm dealing with here, right? So we have, based off my videos, based off, based off my own channel, it's 24 to 34. And that tells me one thing, you know, and they're based in the US, based in the Philippines, based in Canada, based in Jamaica. I can start thinking to myself, that means these people probably know what, you know, Amazon shopping online means, you know what, you know, pay, making payments online means. They're used to such services, right? You know, how can I make use of it? These are young folks. Hmm, probably have a credit card, they probably have a, you know, a debit card, a bank account, they've done some shopping online. So they're used to, you know, what I say, um, Web 2.0 or whatever you want to call it, 
people they know what's going on they know social media they know twitter they know instagram they know all that kind of stuff so i'm beginning to think okay i should create content that you know i could say when i say stuff like uh, share this video they know what i'm talking about so such kind of i can add such words to my creative process right when i'm you know voicing over i could add such statements so i'm thinking i'm thinking about stuff such stuff now this is my i'm you know, rubbing my hands because it's gonna get interesting right now you know you know, I've, I've, I've seen my analytics, so I pick a channel for example, my channel, I've seen my analytics, I've seen what drives it, I've seen where the people who view my videos are based off, I've seen, you know, the agenda, I have more females, I've seen, you know, I've seen their age and stuff like that, so what can I do now? Simple solution, right? But I needed to prove it, so I picked a sample channel and someone volunteered, I'm sure you people know who the channel is, who the person is, none other about cops then, cops then, cops then. I'm going to get so much slack for this, but hey, let's keep going. So I picked cops then. She's into food, family, faith. She does a lot of cooking. She uses a lot of equipment, a lot of, you know, devices with her cooking and all that stuff, kitchen stuff and appliances, kitchen appliances. And, you know, I kept asking myself if she has, just imagine what her, analytics looks like right she probably has more females she probably has people in the u.s more viewers from the u.s spread around the world right now how can we drive her content in such towards such a direction that we can you know make money really that you can you know optimize the content in such a way you get benefits from right and it's not obstructive kind of um strategy so to speak you're not trying to dissuade the user you're just trying to make it seem you know straightforward it's a simple transaction right whatever we want to do that's the end goal we want to make money off youtube using our creative process i have these videos i'm attracting this demographic i'm looking at analytics how can i benefit from it right something came to mind amazon associates now this is an affiliate program so you sign up with this amazon website as an associate you set up your account it just means you get a link search for a product on this amazon platform get a link it's your link it's tied to your affiliate account you put it on a youtube video in the description box someone clicks on that link opens up an amazon page with the product listed there someone makes a purchase a purchase someone buys the stuff <laughs> someone buys the stuff and you get some kickback so imagine comes and sets up does the first video talks about one product she's used in that video and puts her own affiliate Amazon link of that product in the district in the description box. Anyone who buys, clicks on that link, buys that product, she gets something back. Wow, amazing! And I gave it a shot, I gave it a try, and this was what happened. Just worked. Went on and went on to Amazon, set up Cops Den affiliate account. It's called Amazon Associates account. Set that up. Found the product she used in her videos, created my links, my affiliate links, sent it to her, she put it in the description, and boom, there you go. Anyone who makes a purchase, clicking on those links, she gets some kickback. Amazing. Wow. Just from looking at the analytics, you can think about various ways of improving or grooming your content right so you can see and this is just not for big youtubers for you know, small youtubers and by small youtubers i mean less than 1k anyone really we really need to start thinking about you know taking what we've done and what we've created and trying to you know refine it in such a way that it makes sense right it kind of caters to our audience caters to what we know we have already the kind of people we have the kind of viewers we have where they're based and so on and so forth right so going forward, so that's it with Cubs then. You owe me now. Never said, never say a brother never helped out, right? So there you go. So just to cap it off now, this is where it got exciting. It's not just Amazon, right? It just should be other affiliate programs out there. And bingo, quick search, Home Depot, they have one. eBay have their own affiliate program. Amazon Associates, we've already seen that. Walmart, you know, Rakuten, Rakuten. If you're into NBA, you know who Rakuten sponsors. It's Golden State, Steph Curry, and all that stuff. I love them. Target. They have all these big companies, or I don't know what to call them, you know, they have associate programs. So you can imagine this is just you know, for Cubs then who does a 
cooking show, right? Imagine someone who you know, takes us to some shopping hall, right? And it's on eBay or, or not even eBay, on, like, in Home Depot, right? You could put links to items you've purchased, right? You could do a lot of stuff. The sky is the limit. This was just a simple list I put up, put together. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys love it. We we'll keep pushing, we we'll keep driving. Try and refine your content, try and groom your content, add stuff that makes it, you know, make sense based off your analytics. So we'll get back to the chat right now. We'll get back to the live stream. Ask your questions. What are your ideas? What do you think? Let's try and, you know, share, rub minds, brainstorm, and talk about these affiliate programs and see if we can move on to the next topic. But if we want to dwell on this, I'm all for it. So I'll see you in the chat. I'll see you in the live stream. Catch you later. Thanks. Hello, hello, hello. Can you guys hear me? If you can hear me, type a yes. If you can hear me, type a yes, please. Welcome everyone. Welcome Natasha. Welcome Extra Step CEO. If you can hear me, type a yes, please. If you can hear me, type a yes, please. All right, cool. One yes from Cobbs Den. Thank you, Extra Step, for coming. Thank you, Abosha Day Spotlight. Me, myself, and DYI in it. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all, all for coming. We have a new person in the house, a new channel, Abosha Day. Connect, connect, connect. But before we get started with connecting, I'd like to share a couple of rules on how this should work in this live stream, how connecting and networking should work in this live stream. Um, just trying to go with the flow. Lots of issues going around last week about YouTube shutting down live streams and what kind of you know words, emojis are permitted in the live stream. So I'm gonna put up a quick code of conduct or what kind of vocabulary we might use in this live stream. There we go. There we go. So it's really simple, straightforward. If you're interested in the channel, you're interested in someone, you want to check them out, you know, tag the person with a heart emoji and a question mark. Just, you know, trying to be civil. Just ask, right? You want to connect? You want to hook up? You want to network? And if the person replies a yes, and then you go ahead, check out the channel, watch a video, leave a comment, you know the drill. And then you can come back, tag the same person, the same channel, and add two heart emojis, two heart emojis. I think it's pretty straightforward. I just try and keep things within limits. We don't want to spam the channel. We don't want to mess things up. Okay, K Renee, I see you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. We just finished a short video on how to use um, some of these um, big uh, companies. You know, some of their programs. They have stuff called. Um, affiliate programs you sign up with them create an account with them get some of their products get the links you can add those links to the description box of any of your youtube videos any of your youtube videos we've been discussing that so um, i started off with some analytics from my own channel i looked at my demographics where my top views was coming from united states canada uh, there was no UK, sorry about that, so I need to work on that, see how I can get some of my footprint in the UK. And move from that to what the age of the folks who watch my videos, you know, look like. 
you know, based on that, you know, you could tell these were, you know, millennials, you know, they know what online platforms look like. They shop online, they have credit cards, they have MasterCards. We also looked at some analytics around gender. You know, we saw like I had more females looking at my videos. You know, that should help, you know, point me in some direction. If those videos, you know, struck a chord, what exactly was it? You know, how do I, you know, add to that? How do I refine that and stuff like that? We moved on to a, a case study. We used blue jeans, not blue jeans. We used Cubs then as a case study. We looked at her demographics, not that we looked at it. I looked at it, you know, it was similar to mine. She has footprints in the US, in the UK, in Canada, I think in Philippines as well. So and most of our videos, you know, some of our videos are around food. She does some cooking. She, you know, talks about some kitchen appliance she uses. And, you know, to add to that, rather than putting a simple link to that appliance on Amazon, she could go to Amazon, create an affiliate account, get her own private links, put them on her videos. Anyone who clicks on those links and makes a purchase, she gets a kickback. So those are the kind of stuff we're talking about. And we looked at other providers, not just Amazon. We had um, stuff from Home Depot, Walmart, Target, eBay, um, Rakuten, Alibaba. You know, these guys, these companies offer affiliate programs. You could you know, extend your content using those programs as well. It's, um, it's 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 really straightforward to be honest you know we could we could we could leverage all of this kind of stuff and move forward to our content so that's what we've been talking about really i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, we might play that back once we have more crowd in the stream uh, we have a new person in our midst um it's um i think she's gone it was a bush a day a bus a day something i think she's gone so that's it. So um, Extra Step CEO came back and said something like um, she's trying to, she's looking for ways to promote her own affiliate link and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, cool. That sounds interesting. We could actually make that work. So it depends on what your, um, what exactly your content is like, right? So if it's um, about, you know, running a business, there are tools, there are templates, there are books. You could actually go ahead, create your affiliate links, you know, add them to your description box. You know, there are training programs, training events around the globe taking place. You could, you know, get an affiliate link to some training or some professional body, project management, PMP kind of stuff. Get some their latest training coming up, add it into your description box. Anyone who, you know, like, signs up for a training, you get some kickback, you know. Let's try to see how we can leverage, you know, affiliate programs in this session, how we can use that to, you know, really make more money and make some money in, in a simple way, not to, you know, in your face for the viewer, but, you know, straightforward, everyone has something to gain, right? Hmm. Me, myself, DY says she has an affiliate account. Have you found it useful? Was it, did it make sense? Did it, did it help drive any kind of, you know, monetary gain or, you know, did it help shape how you shot your videos or produced your content going forward? What was it like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, myself, and Dua Ayan also says, so checking and leaning, learning our demographics will help us bleed. Yes, uh, we help us build. Yes, I agree. I, I agree with you 100%. But the problem is, um, um, how do you translate what, you, what the numbers you see into some, you know, actionable, you know, action points? You know, how do, how do you how do you change the numbers you see? What does um, having more females or having more males mean for your content going forward? What does having, you know, most of the viewers based in the U.S. mean for your content going forward? Hey, Sharon Anderson, thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Hello, everybody. Hi, host. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Yes, yes, yes. We've been talking about strategies to grow, strategies to use um, what we see in the YouTube studio, especially with um, analytics, how we can use simple analytics to help drive our creative content, to help drive how we create stuff, 
Uh, I looked at we looked at my channel. We looked at you know some simple demographics. What is our footprint across the globe? I have more viewers from the U.S., some from Canada, none from the U.K., which is, which is a shame, but also indicates you know where I need to work on. Um, we saw the gender profile of um, uh, my viewers. Uh, I had more females than males. We, shot, we saw the age. Um, the age bracket was between 25 to 35. You know, with such kind of information, how do we turn that around to help drive our content? So I looked at that, picked up a case study. If my users or my viewers are between 25 and 35, they probably know what the internet is about. They've probably heard about Amazon. They've probably heard about PayPal. They have a debit card, a MasterCard and stuff like that. We looked at Cubs then and seeing some of our videos around kitchen, cooking, she uses some appliances. Rather than just putting a simple description of um, a link to that appliance on Amazon or Walmart, she goes to those shops, to those websites, to those service providers, signs up for an affiliate account, creates her own affiliate links to those products, puts them, puts the links on her description page. Any viewer that clicks on that link gets directly um, redirected to Amazon to that page but it isn't a public page it's an affiliate link any purchase made comes and gets a kickback and it doesn't just work with Amazon there are lots of affiliate programs out there there's affiliate programs with Home Depot with Target with Walmart with Alibaba with um, Rakuten there are loads of them loads and loads of them hmm me myself says she didn't get much traffic she didn't get much traffic um for stuff like that you probably you probably need to dig in some more as well i'll say i'll probably say dig in some more see if you can give the, your users more options not just with amazon it's been nice if you tell them you can get this on amazon you can also get this from let's say alibaba or get it from ebay it'd be nice to have some options um some people might prefer ebay some might prefer amazon you never know just just leave your options open Let's leave the options open. The more options you have, the more likelihood you have um, of people clicking and you know giving you some kickback. That's what I think, really. And you could also mention that in your video as well. You could tell them you have the links in the description. They should make the purchases from those links and stuff like that. Yeah, I just noticed the video wasn't playing. Sorry about that. I think I know what the problem is. I'll give that a quick fix. One minute, please. Put that on repeat. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Any more questions? What do you guys think about um, the YouTube analytics, though? Has anyone used that to help drive some kind of decision making? Uh, do you think it's just, you know, over information too much information is it really helpful how can you use that to drive your content i've seen how you know based on the, off the analytics you could you know use affiliate links to help drive and promote uh, monetary gains on your channel and stuff like that so anyone else anyone else anyone else okay okay me, myself, and Dua Ayn says, oh, I didn't give them the options. Yeah, you might, you might consider looking at that as well. Extra Step CEO says, I always check my analytics and see that most of my traffic is from the US and from the UK. Yes, that's good. And you could also keep your ears to the ground. You could check, you could check um, what um, big um, superstores or big stores they have in the US or in the UK, see if they have affiliate programs. I know in the UK we have stores like Tesco. Um, I think Tesco was one of the biggest. I'm sure they definitely have affiliate programs. See if you could include that in your list as well. Um, see what the numbers are, not just for the UK. Try other areas as well, other parts of Europe. Um, within the US, what's your footprint like in Canada? Do you have any footprints there? Okay, to check that out as well. Um, Cobbs then is asking, how often do you check? I check mine like every day because I keep a log of you know stuff that goes on with my YouTube channel. 
um, how many subscribers I've, you know, I've, I gathered for the past 24 hours, how many watch hours I've got and stuff like that. So I keep an eye on it every day. It helps me, you know, plan and prepare and kind of think about what areas to deal with next. Like I don't have any, any footprint in the UK at all. So I need to start thinking about that. How do I get my channel over there? Um, K. Rene says, I check mine every other day to try and figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the problem. Numbers, really. Um, just seeing a, a whole spreadsheet of numbers, a table of numbers, seeing charts can be quite daunting. Um, you just need to drill in deeper, just try and you know understand and have a feel for what what is going on with the analytics. There are also YouTube videos out there. There are also videos that show you or try to teach you how best to interpret what those numbers mean, really. Yeah. Me, myself, and Dua Ayn says, I've been using mine for my video types. It lets me know that I had two types of videos running, good numbers, so I focus my videos. Oh, cool, cool. That's nice, that's nice. Uh, at least the analytics helped. Which is good, which is good, which is good. Um, Natasha Pretty Anderson, I watch mine every day to see how my channel is doing. Yeah, uh, not just how your channel is doing, see how you can use that to help drive, you know, what, what help refine what you're trying to create, what you're trying to sell, what you're trying to push out there. <laughs> yeah, okay, Natasha, I look at my analytics daily too, me, myself, and do I. I, Natasha, I look at my analytics daily too. Cubs then, it's, um, do I, iron? it's so that it's driving your content. Is it so, so that it's driving your content? Do you think it affects your originality? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. It depends on how you view it, right? Um, if, if your content gave you those numbers, then those numbers should help guide and refine what you're doing, right? If your content gave you those numbers, you already have your original plan. So I think the numbers will just help refine or help you know, further guide and maybe prove what you're doing is right. Um, I see there's a new person in the house, living better with style. Rocco, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. I think we connected today or something like that. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. We've been looking at strategies to help, you know, interpret analytics from your video and use that as a as a light to help guide you know, your content going forward we looked at using um, affiliate programs from amazon from home depot so affiliate programs with affiliate programs from let's say for example amazon you could you know you could have like say a cooking video and you use let's say a blender or some kind of um, hot plate or cooking stove you could add links affiliate links from your affiliate account in Amazon to your description and your YouTube video. Anyone who clicks on those links makes a purchase, you get a kickback. So there are other providers, affiliate service providers out there. There's a list of them. Use that to help drive your content. Make some money on the side, right? Uh, there's not, I don't think there's anyone here who would say, you know, a little bit of extra income. It's, it's a bad idea, really. So that's it. That's about what we've been talking about. And, you know, throughout the stream, people have been asking questions, you know, brainstorming how best to use affiliate links to help, you know, make some extra money or help drive their content, right? Yeah. So Cobbs then says, I have not really been into numbers per se. Maybe I should start taking it more seriously. Yeah, I think so. I mean, these tools are there to help um, to help us, you know, achieve our milestones, to hit our targets. Um, I don't think the folks in you at YouTube put it there for fancy or you know um, placeholders to make YouTube look nice. You can actually use those numbers to help drive what you're doing to help make better decisions. Really, I have a question though. How, like now I've looked at my analytics, I don't have any footprint in the UK. How do I get my name, my channel up in the UK? You could argue I'm based in Canada, so maybe time difference and all. So how do I get a footprint in the UK? Yeah. 
Cobb then says, um, the analytics are quite a lot. Which ones do you recommend to start with or look at daily? The simple ones, you know, the very basic ones, not the complicated ones. Um, most views, geographic ones. Um, it breaks it down across regions around the world, US, Canada, and I think by countries as well, Germany, um, I saw Jamaica as well. So you could take a look and see you know, what, what your content is, um, how your content is being consumed and by whom and from where. That's the basic one. That's the first one I'll suggest. I also suggest the gender and the age. It kind of gives you an idea of um, uh, the kind of people that watch your video, you know, what they like, what they're into and stuff like that. So those are the three basic ones I'll say you should take a look. Um, the geographic one, the age, the gender. Uh, if, if you really think about subscription, you could see um, your videos broken down by, you know, the viewers who have subscribed to your channel or who have not and stuff like that. But hey, the simple ones make all the difference, right? Cubs then, blue jeans, question is, question is, what is the reason you need to be in UK? Um, like I said, it's a numbers game, right? It's, it's, it's a money thing, it's monetary games, right? So we know that um, YouTube and Google as the backing company, they make most of their profits or most of their money, most of their revenue in the US, in the UK, in Canada, and some other parts of Europe as well. So that's where, it's, those are their numbers. I, I didn't make that up. That's, that's how they break it down. They have huge revenue streams from, from, from these regions. So that means, you know, they have folks there paying for ads, ready to put up ads. So if I have my videos there, you know, and I have ads running on them, I'm gonna definitely make some money compared to maybe on a different region and all that. So I already have Canada, I already have the US. It would be nice to have some footprint in the UK. That's, that's just my thinking though. Natasha Anderson says, I have 50% in Jamaica, 20 in the US, 3 in Canada. I don't remember the rest of the countries. So the question is, um, um, take a look and see what the breakdown of um, YouTube revenue streams are like. Um, you can just do a quick Google search, YouTube revenue stream or Google YouTube revenue stream. You see what regions makes um, the most money or you know, gives them the most money and help, you know, use that to help drive your decision making, right? Um, you wouldn't want to have most of your content, you know, being reviewed or watched or viewed and the revenue stream you get from a region like, let's say, Jamaica or maybe South America, you know, maybe Asia is different from what you would have gotten if those same videos were viewed the same number of times in a region like the US, in a region like the UK or a region like Canada, you know, just that kind of stuff, that kind of thinking though. Um, Sharon, it's good to check. Sharon says it's good to check. Yes, I agree. It's definitely good to check. It's definitely good to check. I think I think it's what checking is what looking at. Um, yeah, that's what I think. Um, another point I need to ask. Another question I need to bring up is: um, um, Do you really think um, um, viewership in, let's say, um, the US or the UK? You think they really they are looking out for some special kind of content? You know, are they into you know music production? Are they into you know movie reviews, gaming? You know, what exactly? How how do you break into? How do you find out what they are into, and how do you try to break into that market? That's what I would ask, really. You know, like for instance, in the Philippines, they're more into you know dancing. There's this rave, tala dance. Everyone is into it. They're into reaction videos as well. So if that's your thing, you could try exploring that kind of market. Um, for the US, they have lots of gamers. They have lots of cooking channels. You know, they have um, DIYs and stuff like that. You know, you could start looking at you know, channeling some of your content towards that. If it's not you, just keep looking, just keep searching, you would definitely find something, yeah? Just keep searching, just keep looking. Um, there's no one size fits all, right? You know, every situation is unique, every situation is different. It's left for us to keep finding, right? To keep searching. 
Uh, Cobb then says, but I hear reaction videos do not get monetized. No, again, these are all speculations. Don't worry, come your questions. I have, I'm going to do another um, Think Tank Thursday, maybe next week or in two weeks time. I want to, you know, tackle, I won't call it myths or legends, you know, like stuff like this that Cobb then is asking. Reaction videos don't get monetized. Did you get an email from YouTube ask, telling you that? Is there a, a page? terms and condition that describes all that nobody knows this is could be speculation if it was definitive then maybe we, so uh, my plan is to you know pick up all these questions and try and find you know a source a youtube source that can actually refer or you know, so give me some kind of guidance as to what is allowed uh, what works or what doesn't work there's so many of them flying around i call them myths I've not, uh, I just hear people say them. I've not gotten any emails or memos or, you know, terms and condition updates from YouTube. Uh, say shaking hand emojis, uh, pointing fingers, stuff like that. Don't use subscription. Don't use the word subscribe or connect, stuff like that. Just try and find out what really works, right? You know, we don't want to build up um, legends on the YouTube streets and have Batman and Spider-Man try uh, try to come in and help solve that mystery, right? We, we need to have our facts in order. We don't want to speculate too much and lose focus on what's important, really. Yeah, Extra Step is saying, uh, Cubs Then I'm not sure about the reaction video information. Yeah, exactly. So no one, no one's sure. Like last week, there was this this wave of news. Um, no more emojis in live streams, you know, your YouTube channel will be brought down. And I, I listened to a lot of um, um, YouTube live stream people say all that. And there wasn't any definite reference now that says this was what YouTube said. It's just, um, I think, I think, I feel, I feel, you know. Anyway, that's for next week. Come next week and hopefully my investigative team would have gotten to the bottom of all a few of these um, legends or myths, right? Cobson is asking, but I think white YouTube needs to have a place where we can easily get this info to kill the speculations. But yeah, I agree. I agree. And again, YouTube is, is massive and and that's how I tend to look at things. Used to be YouTube is so massive that I feel um, YouTube as a as a as an organization trying to expend resources on monitoring charts, live stream charts is Kind of going overboard to be honest i understand the spamming bit right I understand the spamming part but in terms of what you know you know participants are allowed to say or type i don't know i don't know i have not seen anything any kind of guidance anywhere so we need to get to the bottom of that to be honest i think youtube needs to put up some kind of um what's allowed and what's not list somewhere but we'll, we'll keep digging we keep finding out we keep finding out we keep finding out Extra Step CEO is asking, have you taken time to read the terms and condition, Cubs then? Have you taken time to read the, the terms and condition? Um, does anyone read the dotted lines? <laughs> I don't know, terms and condition, I, I just, you know, check box, yes. Do you agree? Yes, and we move on. Really, and we move on, yeah. But again, these are stuff we need to, we need to, you know, consider. These are stuff we need to put in place. Extra Step CEO, Cubs Den Blue Jeans Network, I will also encourage us to add their YouTube channel. Hmm, interesting. I'm not sure I follow that, but hey. The YouTube channels. Hmm. What YouTube channels are you referring to exactly? I'm here wondering if, sh if short videos, if they put ads on them, like under 10 minutes. Uh... I'll probably have to ask someone who's monetized. I can't really tell. I can't really, really tell. I'm still, I'm still a, a small YouTuber. It's probably a question for the likes of G Kicks, James Guy Guy, Pusher Studios, and again, I don't know. I don't know. I can't really tell. It's a good question. It's a good question, though. So, is it still speculation? Ten minute videos, play ads. I mean, I've seen a couple of videos that are quite short, and ads still run on them. I've seen a couple of ESPN videos, two, three minutes, but they run like two, three ads before they kick off. So I still don't know how that 10 minute video thingy, you know, if it's true, if it's real, I don't know. No one knows, I don't know. 
Anyone here monetize? Cobzen is asking. Natasha says, most of my videos are short. So are mine. Short. So are mine, really. Most of them are short. So are mine. But hey, we we'll never know to cross to cross that milestone, yeah. Extra step CU, I take time to watch the videos. It's it is on one of the videos that I know that the channel is limited to three notifications daily. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. You can manually add in ads for videos under 10 minutes. Okay, that's new. I didn't know that. <laughs> Extra step CEO, Blue Jeans Network. I read the dotted lines very well. <laughs> well, did you find anything interesting in there? Extra step, did you find anything interesting? Something you'd love to share, you'd like to share, that you think you know, most people just skim over or skip over? Um, Cobzen is asking extra step CEO, what do you mean three notifications daily? What do you mean three, three notifications daily? What do you mean three notifications daily? Hmm. Me, myself and DYI and it says, I need 50 more hours to monetization. Wow. Wow, you're almost there, you're almost there. Well, we could probably use you as a case study if you don't mind. Try and find out stuff from you. Uh, we won't show your numbers, we won't ask for your numbers, just ask you stuff. Tell us how it works. To be honest, tell us how it works. The part I don't understand really, after people get monetized, they are still grinding. They are grinding harder than ever, like up all through the night. I thought it was going to get easier with time, but it seems to be getting tougher and harder. Lots of hustling going on. So me, myself and you, I, I have you in my notes. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions later on, maybe in two, three weeks time. What's the life like? Did anything change or are you still grinding harder and stronger and stuff like that? But congratulations, you're almost there, you're almost there. That's beautiful. You're almost there. Living Better With Stars, Rocker is asking, can they add ads to video with music? Uh, I think so. Because I'm sure the way the ads work, whatever it's playing in the background gets paused. If it, even if it has background music, it pauses and then the ad plays. But if the music you're talking about or the song or the sound you're talking about um, isn't yours, I'm not sure, or you don't have rights to play them, I'm not sure. That's why I stick with um, the YouTube audio library. Everything there is free. I wouldn't want to get my hand caught in, in a trap, really. Yeah. For videos you upload, extra step to you, for videos you upload, for those that upload more than three videos daily, YouTube will only notify your audience three times. Hmm, that's interesting. I didn't know that part. Cobbs then is saying, extra steps here. That's the problem, that the TNC should be clear at the get-go, from the get-go. It is intentional that they make it hard for only say lawyers <laughs> to understand what they mean. Ah, Natasha Pretty Anderson says, my hours are pretty bad. But hey, Cubs then, that's how most TSCs are. They try to hide stuff from you know, regular folk. You have to be a lawyer or some kind of, you know, you have to have some experience in reading TNCs to actually take your time to read and find out what's going on. But hey, we're all learning, we're all learning. This is why we have Think Tank Thursday. This is why we have man, woman versus work. We talk about stuff like this. You know, it's not just about, you know, gathering subscribers or having watch hours. It's reading between the dotted lines, trying to make sure, you know, you're compliant and you're not running amok or running away with a wrong strategy, right? Extra self CEO, Blue Jeans, that is the part I don't understand. When I see monetize, when I see monetized channels still grinding, I get confused. Exactly. You know, I thought, eh, YouTube, you know, we're going to get monetized, create your content, your content will blow, watch hours and all that stuff. But it seems like uh, the more you reach your milestones, the more effort and work. Take Cubs then, for instance, uh, she's been up all day and she's not yet monetized. Is this, is this workload going to triple when she gets monetized? I really don't know. I really, really don't know. 
I guess we'll learn as we as we make progress, to be honest. I guess we'll learn as we make progress. And that's why I think, you know, we, it's best to start thinking about strategies to help you manage your workload from the get-go. You don't want to wake up one day, you have 2,000 subscribers, a million notifications, you need to work on your watch hours, and you have just 24 hours to get all that done. Uh, you pro we, we all need to seriously start thinking about strategies to help balance the workload, to be honest. So thank you, Extra Step, for bringing that up. Now, these are the kind of stuff I like to talk about, stuff you know, that you know, we rarely do talk about. It's best we bring them out in the open, find out what works, uh, find out what doesn't work, find out what's, what is the best way to, to make stuff work for us, right? Thank you, Extra Step, for that. I know, I know, I know this live stream is a big deal for me. I really don't look at the numbers. I'm just new. I'm barely three weeks into YouTube. I'm already live streaming. I have eight people, eight likes. To me, I don't see eight. I see 800. I don't see seven likes. I see 700. I'll keep grinding this out. It's, it's going to grow. It's, it's going to keep moving forward. So, hey, I'm really excited. Thank you guys for coming. It was, it's been a pleasure. You know, I just came up with this like barely yesterday, I think, and it's awesome to, you know, see and find out that people actually think about stuff like this, which is really, really great. Me, myself, do I and says, you're right, Blue Jeans, we should plan what our strategy is beforehand and push to accomplish it. Yes. Yeah, 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 I agree. And again, um, you have to be flexible. You know, strategies can change, situations can change. You have to be nimble enough to know when to stop, think and plan and you know, make changes to your strategy. You know, what's, what your workload at 1,000 might not be the same at 2,000 subscribers. Um, your video production might not be the same at 2,000 subscribers or 3,000 subscribers, you know, stuff like that. So be, be, we should all be willing to change, you know, change our strategy, change our plan, change our course of action whenever the time or the need arises, really. Thank you, D. Thank you, myself, Dwayne, and I for bringing that up. Thank you very much. That was great. Cobbs then says, yeah, right. You don't see numbers. <laughs> we know you're number blind. Uh, I don't know. Number blind. No, I see numbers. It's all about the numbers, baby. It's not, um, uh, it's just knowing how best to manage that. You don't want to get to a point where you are overwhelmed completely. You are completely overwhelmed. Then it's just a matter of time before you break down and you don't want to do that. You know, YouTube should be a means to an end and not the end, not, not, not the final bus stop or the final stop for you really. Comes and says, extra steps. So we need to be trained to read the TNC. <laughs> you see how easy it is to create a YouTube channel? Why can't the TNCs be that way? Yeah, that's the way it has been. That doesn't make it right too. Yeah, I agree, I agree. But hey, we're all learning, we're all growing. We'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there. That's why we need stuff like this. That's why we need uh, live streams like this, where we can talk about things like this. Things that, you know, the tiny things that count, that add up at the end of the day. We need stuff like this. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for coming. I really appreciate this. I think the next after the um the myth and legend think tank the next one will be watch hours uh, the watch hour thing is 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 funny to me i i find it funny um i think my i won't i won't reveal my watch hours yet i'll see what this live stream does to it I'll see what this live stream does to it it's it's an amazing ride to be honest it's an amazing journey i can't believe it and there's a new wave in town like most of the small youtubers i know they're all live streaming all of them with 400 subscribers. They're not waiting anymore to hit the one, 1K subscriber count. They've started, you know, coming up with various ways to hit the watch hour milestone as well. So right before they, you know, hit the 1K subscriber milestone, they're already working on their, you know, watch hours, which is, which is awesome, which is a good strategy, which is really, really good. So Cubs then is asking, so are you going to be LSN every week, live streaming every week? Definitely, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Every week, every week. I'll keep doing this every week because I feel um, the live stream, 
service on YouTube as a platform can be exploited and used in various ways. You could use that to do so much more. Think about it. Live stream has been on for so long. People watch live stream on TV, for sports, for shows, for events, and these programmings or these programs are beautiful, well produced. You know, the viewers, the viewerships are off the charts. They take their time to really produce content for live stream, right? So on YouTube, we have the same platform, live stream. I mean, this is a Thursday. I have eight viewers. I think if I'm going to live stream, I should give them something worth their time. Give them something. So I think the live stream platform is is yet to be exploited to the maximum. We just we just scratched we just scratched the surface. Really, I see lots of stuff. Think about it. Stuff like the Big Brother show, you know, um, such gaming shows. I see simple YouTubers coming up with such shows for live stream to be honest that's what i think because we, the live stream platform is, is 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 massive we can do a lot cooking shows live streaming saturday morning cooking shows breakfast shows straight from live stream we could do so much with live stream to be honest cops then um let me take it from the top are you going to live stream every week? Yes, I am. Um, Cubs then is asking um, me, myself, and do I. Uh, did you live stream today? Um, it's best to do it every week, Cubs then. Natasha, pretty Anderson is saying, it's best to do it every week, Cubs then. Uh, me, myself, and do I is saying, because the live stream boosts your hours majorly. Yep, it does, it does, it does, it does, it does. So imagine if you had, um, if you had um, good quality content for live streams. It would be amazing how your live streams would go. It would be awesome. It would be awesome. You hit your watch. Cubs and is asking. You hit your watch hours. You hit your watch hours. Did you live stream to get to, to get your numbers up? So he's asking. Um, Cubs and is asking uh, me, myself, and you. Did you did you use live stream to get your numbers up? Did you did you live stream often, daily, to get your numbers up? How did you do that? How did you get so close to your watch hours milestone? To be nice to know. Uh, Natasha Pretty Anderson, the watch hours are really hard to get. Yeah, they are, they are. That's why we have to keep grinding uh, whichever way we can get the watch hours. Now I know people use lots of strategies, live stream, playlists, you know, the list goes on and on and on. But I think you need to understand what your goal is and you need to, you know, truthfully, honestly tell yourself, think about ways you know, come up with ways you can achieve it truthfully and honestly. You know, you really need to table that out and take it from there. Cobbs then is asking me, myself, and do one I in any tips on how to get your hours? How long have you been working on it? Oh, that would be nice to know. I did a few live streams, do our eyes for about an hour, and at the end, I gained 27 hours of watch time from them. Wow. 27 hours, not bad, not bad. Extra step CEO. <laughs> I find LS tiring. Yeah, I agree, I agree. Um, it takes a different kind of mindset, uh, but the way I look at it, I try to see it as um, just doing voiceover for my video, uh, for a video production. Just sit down, do voiceovers. There's no retakes, there are no retakes. You're not um, repeating or cleaning up, just doing voiceovers as, 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 as it comes into your head, all right? So um, that's what I think. It's, it's exhausting, it, it wears you out, but you know what your goals are, you know what you're looking for, you know what you're targeting. So, hey, let's keep pushing. <laughs> Me, myself, and DY Iron says, I've been on YouTube for one year and I didn't get more information until the last four months. And that's when I took a major hit on my viewing time. Exactly. And I think it's almost the same story for everyone I've, I've actually met. Same thing happened to Cubs then. She was on YouTube for some time until she, you know, found out ways to get stuff done to achieve her goals. I think it's like that for everyone. And I think that's why we need, 
more live streams talking about stuff like this more live streams opening up their arms to young youtubers so imagine if the first live stream you ever attended all this was you know shown to you was you know you found out on your very first live stream you would probably be hitting your targets and your milestone a lot faster Extra step C, Cobbs and is saying, Extra step C, if you get people to watch them, you really don't need LS. So if you have videos, if you get people to watch your videos, you really don't need LS. Again, it depends on your strategy. Whichever works for you, you know, realistically, you don't want to push yourself overboard and end up, you know, losing everything at the end of the day. So if you want to go the way of watching your videos getting playlists to be watched and stuff like that go for it go for it if it's manageable for you go for it if you feel live stream you can accommodate live streaming go for it whichever works for you but to make sure you're thinking about it make sure you're aware of other avenues to you know get your watch hours up make sure you're aware of other avenues to you know get your subscription list your subscription count going up you know just just be aware of such information you wouldn't want to wait like extra um me myself do i said she spent close to a year on youtube and it was just the last part of that year that she got the information she needed so you want to start your journey or hit the ground running like my former boss used to say yeah me myself doing I is saying i did a few live streams but the bulk of my hours have been the bulk of my hours have come from good old-fashioned networking meeting people and talking to them about my channel yep there you go meeting people and talking meeting people and talking there you go that works as well meet new people network you know join new live streams stay up late join a live stream from the other side of the world stuff like that I never knew I could stay up late to like 2 p.m., 2 a.m. and, you know, be grinding, but you know, it's, it's exciting. It's exciting to see people from other parts of the world doing the same stuff I do, you know, making connections, making new friends. It's amazing. It's amazing. So, so, so for me, my own consideration is on live streaming. Um, I might try, you know, playlist stuff, watching videos, but hey, at least I'm aware such strategies exist we have banaya congo bonjour hmm. we have someone new in the house banaya congo welcome 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 to my live stream welcome to my live stream welcome to my live stream i must have missed you i must have missed you thank you for coming this is think tank thursday we talk about real stuff in the youtube streets we're talking about using analytics to help grow and push and groom our content we talked about using affiliate programs amazon associates is one of such programs and you just google it really just think of any big um producers out there they all have affiliate programs and can use your affiliate links create affiliate accounts use affiliate links in your description box just do a search you find numerous resources around affiliate programming and in certain links to your youtube description videos not just Amazon affiliates, we have Home Depot, Walmart, Alibaba, eBay, Target. You can sign up as an affiliate and start, you know, putting your own links in your description box. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming, guys. I really appreciate this. I really, really appreciate this. I really, really appreciate this. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Extra step CEO, I see that content creators are drifting away from uploading content. Am I feeling this way because I'm still grinding? <laughs> um, I think so. Um, there's this saying, let's, let's, let's take it from the top, right? Extra step. Um, think about YouTube, right? The people or the channels with the most views, the big YouTubers out there, what kind of content do they put out, right? It put out good content it could be vlogging it could be a cooking video it could be anything at all but they put out good content not just live streams they put out videos they put out videos they put out videos uh, youtube is primarily a video consumption platform right 
So imagine when YouTube started, they just wanted people to upload videos along the line, the likes of Netflix, Hulu, Prime came up. And I think about two years ago or last year, YouTube started this whole idea of subscription. So you pay YouTube some money monthly and they allow you access to prime content, to quality content, content you have to pay for to watch. So actually, good content, good videos always rises to the top. So I don't know what live stream, the best in my mind, in my own opinion, the best you can do with live stream is to still push out more content, right? Live stream is just another way for you to push out more content. But YouTube primarily, in my own opinion, is all videos because all the top videos I see on my homepage, all the top videos with top ads with the highest numbers are all video uploads, all video uploads, all good content, right? So the same idea, video, good content, live stream, good content. So even if people are all doing live stream, but you stick to your content video wise you stick to your content live stream wise i think you're good i think you're good cobs then is saying living better with style rocker i'm not saying i have lots of watch hours again it's the amount of time you go live i have only been consistent going live daily for only a week and i see the impact on my watch hours yes to be honest when i saw my first live stream I had like, I don't know, less than four hours watch, watch, watch hours, less than four watch hours. But after that live stream, I had 40. I was like, wow, <laughs> this is definitely the way to go. This is definitely one of the ways to go, to be honest. So, hey, let's keep going. Extra Step CEO, Cobbs and is saying, I also think that everyone has their own strategy that works for them. Extra step replies, Cubs then maybe I should even do a reaction video about you and blue jeans. Maybe that would give me so much hours. <laughs> that would be that would be free advert for me. I, I don't mind. I won't mind. That's great. I won't mind that. Cubs then is telling Banana Yakongo, please watch a short video, leave a comment and show love. I will do the same. So Banana Yakongo, thank you for coming. Um, thank you for coming to this live stream. We have a couple of rules. I'll bring that up just in a moment so that you're not, you know, left out about how we operate here. Um, you're not um, stuck in the loop. Um, so if you um, coming up on the screen is, you know, simple description about how stuff goes on. So if you if you're interested in someone, you're interested in the channel, drop tag the person, tag the name of the channel, drop a heart emoji with a question mark. And that just means, hey, want to connect? And if the channel responds, if the person responds with a yes, then yeah, go ahead, check them out, go to the channel, watch a short video, leave a comment, do the needful. And then come back, tag that person, come back to the live stream, tag that name, tag that channel, and drop two heart emojis. And that just tells the person, hey, we're family now, I have you, you have me, we're staying together, what sticks always stays, yeah? <laughs> extra uh, Cubs and Eastern Extra Step CEO, you need to pay a fee if you're going to feature us in a video or do a reaction video, you need to pay a fee. Well, it's always about the money. Natasha Pretty Anderson says, YouTube love me for now. They send out my content more and more every day. Wow. Every day I look at my analysis, analytics and it's going up. Exactly. You see? You see, so the question to ask is, so how did that change? What changed? Did you start adding better tags to your video? Did you start adding better descriptions? You know, whatever made you get out, whatever made your videos to come up, you need to start refining that, start figuring it out. I'm sure you already know what, what made it pop. So just keep refining it, keep refining it, keep refining it. The one I know that really helped me was um, changing my titles, the titles to my videos. Just changing my titles, adding more tags to my videos, and hey. Yeah, I'm getting an error here. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Uh, as such, viewers will experience blah, 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 blah. I hope, can you guys still see the stream? I hope everything is still working as it should.
There you go. Okay, it seems okay. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for coming. I really appreciate this. I really, really appreciate this. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for coming. This is our Think Tank Thursday, grooming your content. We looked at grooming your content. And we looked at um, analytics, uh, geographic, geographic analytics, age and gender. We looked at a case study, trying to use um, Amazon affiliate links your description so if you have videos where you use items or maybe you start thinking about that using some special items that you can find online you could include affiliate links in your description if you're using those items so for example your cooking channel and you use maybe a blender or some kind of um, cooking appliance you could always add the link your your own affiliate link of that product to the description of that video such that when viewers click on that link purchase that product from say amazon you get a kickback so there are different providers of affiliate services amazon is just one of them we have the likes of home depot we have the likes of targets walmart ebay alibaba there are loads of them i'm sure if you just open up google and do a search you can find the top 10 affiliate programs in the us top 10 affiliate programs in the uk top 10 affiliate programs so every region should have affiliate programs yeah so that's what we've been talking about so far people have come back with information about how they use analytics how they use it to monitor their growth and stuff like that so cubs then and banana ya congo banana ya congo i hope i'm saying that right i don't want to mess things up a bit So we keep going, we keep going. I think Cubs then and Bana Yakongo are you know, hooking up, they're connecting, which is good, which is good, which is good. Natasha Pretty Anderson, welcome everybody, welcome everybody. Um, Cubs then is telling Living Better with Star Rocker. Thank you, I'll look out for yours too. What did she say? I must have missed that. <laughs> Extra Step CEO, because it's always surprising when I see views of, of reaction videos. Yeah, they're popular. Yeah. Yeah, quite, quite popular. Yeah, Cubs then is telling Extra Tip CEO, and I will give you my TNC for that video. <laughs> I wonder what will be in it, though. I wonder what's gonna be inside it. Um, Natasha P.T. Anderson, I don't know how to tag. Maybe YouTube love me. I just try to be consistent. Yeah, consistently doing what exactly? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey, let's keep pushing. Let's keep pushing. Maybe Natasha will have a maybe a one-on-one -on -one call with you, and we can just you can just you know, help guide me on about on how you do your videos. So yeah, okay, guys. Thank you for coming. It's been an honor. It's been a pleasure. Um, do you think this 6 p.m. time works for you guys? Do you think we should change the time a bit? I don't want to clash with um, your timeline. Do you think we should change the time a bit? I think 6 p.m. MST, too late, too early. What do you guys think? Oh, Natasha P is asking, I want to know how to tag. Hmm, okay. Okay. I'll, I'll take note of that and see if I can do a short video on that as well. Every day from about a week now, extra step. Okay, Natasha Pretty and is insane. Every day, about a week now. Okay, that's nice. So what do you guys think? 6 p.m. MST, okay? Too early, too late. Too early, too late. I actually had, I was planning for 8 p.m. MST because I had some friends over from the Philippines and they wanted to join. I might have to repeat this later on at night. Let's say 10, 10 p.m. Let's do like one hour. Just to, you know, talk to some of my friends on the other side of the world, really. Share some of this and get their feel, get their thought process as well. Cobson is saying the time is fine with me. The time is okay for me from Natasha Pretty Anderson. Okay. Me, myself, do I, I know it was a great time. Wow. 
That's cool. That's cool. Okay, so I guess I'll keep it at 6 p.m. MST then. Oh, that's great. Thank you guys for coming. 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 Okay, okay, okay. I'll just give it like um, five more minutes. Five or three. And we call it today. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for coming. I think I'll just give it two more minutes and then we'll call it today. Thank you guys for coming. I really appreciate this. And don't worry, I know, I know. Eight concurrent viewers, eight likes, um, I'm over the moon. This is my second live stream on YouTube. I don't, some, some of you waited till you got up to uh, 1,000 subscribers and all that. Uh, I'm not waiting. I'm going to build my live stream. I'm going to build my live stream production as I make progress towards the uh, 1K subscriber milestone. So this is all, this is, this is a success to me. I can imagine what it would look like in two weeks time, three weeks time, the numbers would probably double or triple, but hey, it's, it's a gradual process. It's a gradual process. So thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for coming. I really, I really, really appreciate this. Cubs then, Natasha, Pretty Anthony is saying, I still don't understand. I still don't understand. Who is the sum of you? She's asking. Hmm. Cubs then is asking, who is the sum of you? Well, some of you, like Cubs then, she did her first live stream after she crossed the 1K subscription mark. Yeah, she didn't want to try the waters before 1k and like i said um, i'm sure it's 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 like that for most for most people but new youtubers have learned that live streaming is the way to go they are starting out early and i'm i'm, I'm using that so i'm going to use that kind of strategy start early get used to live streaming understand what live streaming is about get my system set up you know know how to live stream and talk and all that kind of stuff get used to it so you can imagine what my live streams will look like in four or five weeks time to i'll probably be inviting the likes of mark zuckerberg on my live stream the likes of um, jeff bezos on my live stream just kidding guys but hey thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming i appreciate you guys i appreciate you guys clubs then is saying she's going on and on i have no idea what she's talking about i read the tnc's i read between the lines and it said to wait till one key <laughs> extra steps to you right <laughs> well i didn't see that i waited until after i got the one key also you see so imagine if you guys had watched something like think tank thursday and you saw stuff that told you it's not a bad idea to start live streaming early it's not a bad idea to start live streaming before you hit 1k you guys will probably be monetized by now be sending me super super chat super super chat and i'll be calling you guys out but you see they're both in the same boat hustling the streets but hey that's the that's the whole idea we need more such informative live streams lss to to talk about stuff like this. I'm sure there are lots of people out there doing YouTube, wondering about this same kind of stuff we've been talking about here. But hey, Cobb Zen is saying, um, we need more LSs like this to educate us and for us to rob minds. Cobb Zen is asking, is talking to me, myself and the Y in it. I will kick your LS off this, I'll kick your LS off this night for sure yeah extra steps to you wait till 1k <laughs> okay natasha pretty anderson extra steps to you when i usually miss days youtube drop it and i change and from that youtube send out my content more wow okay okay cool all right guys thanks cops then thanks extra step ceo thanks natasha pretty anderson Thank you everyone for coming. Thank you everyone for coming. Thank you me, myself, and Dua Ayin. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate this, I appreciate this. Um, the live stream is about to end. The live stream is about to end. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for coming. Um, I'll come up with, um, with the um, program for next week's um, Think Tank Thursday. I'll send it out in a short ad. 
and we'll take it from there thank you guys for coming i really appreciate this thank you all for moderating well and again there's something i noticed anytime you join when i joined live when i started going to live streams people were saying blue jackets moderator i had no clue what that was about so for any of you out there you know trying to do live streams once you start off a live stream always talk about what it means to be a moderator what it means to be modded what it means what privileges you have as a moderator what it means for you and stuff like that there are lots of people who don't know what it means at all coming to your live stream so moderators are people you assign to help monitor what goes on in your live stream chat to help keep the peace to help prevent spammers and stuff like that so it would be nice to and there are people you trust there are channels you trust there are channels you trust so we should talk about stuff like that some more in our live streams so guys thank you for coming i appreciate your time i appreciate your time i appreciate your time it's time to call it quits it's time to call it tonight thank you guys thank you guys i really appreciate this thank you guys and uh, without much further ado I think that's it from me see you guys next week hopefully we'll see most we'll see ourselves on the youtube streets thank you guys for coming thank you guys for coming i'll leave the chat open you guys could keep talking keep chatting thank you guys for coming thank you guys for coming it's a wrap Just when I was leaving, we have people trooping in. Inspiration for you and me. Blue jeans, where have you been? Thank you for coming, thank you for coming. You caught us at the end, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good to have you. Thank you for coming, thank you for coming. Our three held healthy bitters. Our three healthy bitters. Thank you for coming, thank you for coming, thank you for coming. Sorry guys, I need to fix my mic. I was about to run away from here, but um, my executive producer called me back, said I should bring my behind back to the executive, to the seat and keep pushing. So thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for coming. Um, RT Healthy Beaters, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Uh, we've been at this tiny stream for a while. Um, we've been looking at how to groom our content. We looked at some analytics, uh, especially stuff analytics around um, geographic um, spread of your content, of your viewership. We looked at the age of those viewing your content. We looked at um, the gender. We tried to you know, make informed decisions based on you know, what the analytics is telling us. We looked at a case study, we looked at Cobb's Den channel, her cooking videos. She uses appliances. Most of these appliances, you can get them from, you can get them online from Amazon really. And based off her analytics, you can see, we saw that the age um, bracket of those who come and watch our videos between 25 and 35. Some of them are based in the US, Canada, UK, um, you know, spread around. And we kind of inferred, you know, these people, these viewers, based in the US, 25 to 35, probably know what online shopping is, probably know what Amazon shopping looks like, probably own a credit card, debit card, and stuff like that. We said, okay, let's try and see, take one of our cooking videos, Take some of our cooking videos and then you know if she's using an appliance we put a link referring that cooking video to a link on amazon with an affiliate account you can put your own link there in the description you click on the link to that appliance opens up on amazon your affiliate account 
any purchases that are made you get some kickback there are other providers for affiliate links not just amazon home depot alibaba ebay target walmart there are loads of them just um, go back to this stream once it's done the first 10 minutes of the video you can see i put all the information out there thank you living better with style thank you for the great information i really enjoyed your live stream thank you for coming thank you for coming i appreciate your time thank you for coming living inspiration for you and me literally just got home wow oh how was your day how was your day how was your day don't end yet please wow natasha natasha pretty anderson don't end yet please okay if you insist i'll stay on for a while i'll stay on for a while i'll stay on for a while okay let me see some of the comments i missed let me see some of the comments that i missed wow extra self ceo i don't want this ls to end oh my goodness how is that okay we keep pushing well the audiences are never wrong i'll see if i can push to 7 30 7 45 maybe let's keep going let's keep going that's in like um seven minutes seven to ten minutes let's keep going let's keep going so yeah so analytics 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 that is what we have right now and that is all google is that's all youtube is giving us we have to make good use of it that's what i think um the analytics aren't just fancy numbers that make um, our channel look good they hide uh, not they hold good information we could use to our benefit they hold very good information maybe i should just play that video one more time and let people have a, a feel so guys i'm going to play the video one more time um it's a short video five minutes and then we we'll take it from there <clears throat> is this live hold on just want to make sure i get this right i think we're live okay um hi everyone welcome to Bujis network welcome to the day to, to, to welcome to today's live and we're talking about man versus work think tank thursday everyone think tank thursday give it up give it up and today we're going to look at growth game face on getting down and dirty grooming your content happens every thursday 6 p.m mst but before we get started disclaimer here these are just my findings my own thought process my own brainstorming session it's not um set in stone it might work for you it might not work for you just to put it out there just try get as much as you can and let's roll with it okay let's get started so like today to kick off this wonderful day first ls on think tank i would like to talk about grooming your content yes grooming your content and if you've seen the ad leading up to this ls you must have noticed that grooming your content covers areas around analytics keeping your you know eyes on your analytics trying to use your analytics or trying to use analytics on your youtube platform to try and drive your content the process behind your content and that kind of stuff right and to deal with that to we'll talk about analytics first pick up some kind of case study and try and see how we can use the analytics to kind of build you know or groom our content you know shape it and form it in a way that analytics help um, analytic helps to to drive all that so yeah okay so let's get started let's start with um geography analytic geography so like this is all hands-on i'm going to use my own youtube channel forgive the numbers i'm still a small youtuber so i'm trying to work things out but hey it's a good pointer so for my own channel blue jeans network channel um, you can see simple analytics really i'm sure everybody has looked at this before but let's keep going so you can see from my own little youtube channel i have more viewers based off you know in the us the philippines jamaica canada and germany and we all know where the big money or the big box is right the big box you know, in the us canada you know, uk so so far you know, philippines so far i've ticked a couple of boxes i have united states i have canada 
probably need to work on that nothing from the <laughs> from uk which is funny so that is one indicator as to where i need to start focusing on where i need to start working on what kind of content what kind of connections i need you know to have a footprint in the uk and stuff like that so yes these are my numbers so right now i'm thinking about you know uh, this creative process and i'm now thinking hmm the US, what do these viewers want? What, what attracted them to my channel in the first place? What can I work on? And stuff like that. So I'm already thinking about that. And I'm moving on to the next one. Grooming your content, but hey, gender. Hey, is it, is it, is it, is it a female? Is it a male? You know, what kind of attracted them in the first place? You know, what is it to look out for? And again, based off my Blue Jeans Network channel, you can see I have more females, you know, viewing my videos and stuff that I could start thinking, uh, do I start, you know, looking around, looking at, you know, stuff around family? You know, I'm not trying to put women in the box or do I start looking at, you know, stuff about empowering women, talk about, you know, issues around women and stuff like that, you know. Again, based off analytics and what I have, my content, I'm thinking about this stuff. I have more female viewers, I have people, more viewers from the US, I have viewers from the Philippines, I have viewers from, from Canada, you know, from Jamaica. I'm thinking about what kind of content, what drives, what should drive my content creation process, right? So let's keep moving on. We are getting a flow or a feel of where I'm headed to, right? Keep going. Next one, age. Hmm, interesting. As you can see here, this is a strong indicator of, you know, what kind of demographic I'm dealing with here, right? So we have, you know, based off my videos, based off, based off my own channel, it's 24 to 34. And that tells me one thing, you know, and they're based in the US, based in the Philippines, based in Canada, based in Jamaica. And I start thinking to myself, that means these people probably know what, you know, Amazon shopping online means, you know what, you know, pay, making payments online means. They're used to such services, right? You know, how can I make use of it? These are young folks. Hmm, probably have a credit card, they probably have a, a, a debit card, a bank account, they've done some shopping online. So they're used to, you know, would I say, um, Web 2.0 or whatever you want to call it, but they know what's going on. They know social media, they know Twitter, they know Instagram, they know all that kind of stuff. So I'm beginning to think, okay, I should create content that, you know, I could say, when I say stuff like uh, share this video, they know what I'm talking about. So such kind of, I can add such wordings to my creative process, right? When I'm, you know, voicing over, I could add such statements. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking about stuff, such stuff. Now, this is my, I'm, rub I'm rubbing my hands because it's going to get interesting right now, you know. Now, I've, I've, I've seen my analytics, so I pick a channel, for example, my channel. I've seen my analytics, I've seen what drives, I've seen where the people who view my videos are based off. I've seen, you know, the agenda, I have more females. I've seen, you know, I've seen their age and stuff like that. So what can I do now? Simple solution, right? But I needed to prove it. So I picked a sample channel and someone volunteered. I'm sure you could know who the channel is, who the person is, no, not about cops then, cops then, cops then. I'm going to get so much slack for this, but hey, let's keep going. So I picked cops then. She's into food, family, faith. She does a lot of cooking. She uses a lot of equipment, a lot of, you know, devices with her cooking and all that stuff, kitchen stuff and appliances, kitchen appliances. And, you know, I kept asking myself if she has, just imagine what her, analytics looks like right she probably has more females she probably has people in the u.s more viewers from the u.s spread around the world right now how can we drive her content in such towards such a direction that we can you know make money really that you can you know optimize the content in such a way you get benefits from right and it's not obstructive kind of um strategy so to speak you're not trying to dissuade the user you're just trying to make it seem you know straightforward it's a simple transaction right whatever we want to do that's the end goal we want to make money off youtube using our creative process i have these videos i'm attracting this demographic i'm looking at analytics how can i benefit from it right something came to mind amazon associates now this is an affiliate program so you sign up with this amazon website as an associate you set up your account it just means you get a link search for a product on this amazon platform get a link it's your link, it's tied to your affiliate account. You put it on a YouTube video in the description box. Someone clicks on that link, opens up an Amazon page with the product listed there. Someone makes a purchase, a purchase. Someone buys the stuff, <laughs> someone buys the stuff and 
gets a kickback. So imagine, comes and sets up, does the first video, talks about what product she's used in that video and puts her own affiliate Amazon link of that product in the district in the description box. Anyone who buys, clicks on that link, buys that product, she gets some kickback. Wow, amazing. And I gave it a shot. I gave it a try. And this was what happened. Just worked. Went on and went on to Amazon, set up Copsten affiliate account. It's called Amazon Associates account. Set that up. Found the product she used in her videos, created my links, my affiliate links sent it to her she put it in the description and boom there you go anyone who makes a purchase clicking on those links she gets some kickback amazing wow just from looking at the analytics you can think about various ways of improving or grooming your content right so you can see and this is just not for big youtubers for small youtubers and by small youtubers i mean less than 1k anyone really you really need to start thinking about you know taking what we've done and what we've created and trying to you know, refine it in such a way that it makes sense right it kind of caters to our audience caters to what we know we have already the kind of people we have the kind of viewers we have where they're based and so on and so forth right so going forward so that's it with pubs then you owe me now never said never say a brother never helped out right so there you go so just to cap it off now this is where it got exciting it's not just amazon right it just should be other affiliate programs out there and bingo quick search home depot they have one ebay have their own affiliate program amazon associates we've already seen that walmart you know rakuten rakuten if you're into nba you know who rakuten sponsors it's golden state steph curry and all that stuff i love them targets they have all these big companies or i don't want to call them you know they have associate programs so you can imagine this is just you know, for cops then who does a cooking show right imagine someone who you know, takes us to some shopping hall right and it's on ebay or not even ebay on, in home depot right you could put links to items you've purchased right you, know, you could do a lot of stuff this guy is the link. this was just a simple list i put up put together i hope you guys like it i hope you guys love it we keep pushing we keep driving Try and refine your content, try and groom your content, add stuff that makes it, you know, make sense based off your analytics. So we'll get back to the chat right now. We'll get back to the live stream. Ask your questions. What are your ideas? What do you think? Let's try and, you know, share, rub minds, brainstorm and talk about these affiliate programs and see if we can move on to the next topic. But if we want to dwell on this, I'm all for it. So I'll see you in the chat. I'll see you in the live stream. Catch you later. Thanks.